Yo, I'm mean, like, I, I gotta bleed my cousin. There's no I just got chills seeing what this is. Hold on. There, there's, there's not a way. Oh, my heart rate just rose. I had no clue these went up so much. This is a car. This is 10 grand right here. Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. No, this title is not clickbait. Yes, we are unboxing a $50,000 mystery box. Let me go ahead and grab it for you real quick. This is going to be insane. Okay, just kidding. Before you think this is clickbait, this is not the box. This is actually the box. And yes, there is a lot of crazy stuff that should be in this box right now. So yes, this is a $50,000 mystery box and it is from the store Project Blitz. Now, if you guys have not heard of Project Blitz, they have some of the craziest sneakers in the world. And I am not kidding when I say that. If you guys watch YouTube, you might know Mike Malak. He just went there with Lana Rhodes. He did a whole thing with the sneakers that they have there. And if you didn't see, they had some insane stuff. Now there's something different about this box because right now there's this virus going on and it does not makes sense to be spending $30,000 in a mystery box two weeks ago, $50,000 in a mystery box right now, because that money could be spent better elsewhere, and I know that. So I actually teamed up with Project Blix for this box and actually sent this box to me. Now with every mystery box prior to this, I have paid for them full price. I've gotten them at a discount. I'm very transparent about that because I want you guys to know what I'm paying, or at least that I'm paying and getting a discount. But for this one, we thought, let's go ahead and work together, show you guys what would be in a $50,000 mystery box. And then if there's sneakers in here that I want to buy, and purchase, I can do that, but money could be going to better things right now. So at the end of this video, we're actually gonna be giving away a pair of sneakers that's in here. And also I'm gonna be cash apping $500 to some of you guys. So I'm gonna give the details at the end of this. I'm gonna be cash apping 10 people, $50, try to give back to you guys if you guys need it and are maybe struggling right now. That's enough talking. We have a giveaway, we have cash app. I have absolutely no clue what is in this box. Hopefully I know what's in here, but $50,000 is fit into this right here. We are at $50,000, I, I don't even really know how we got here, but let's go ahead, start opening this bad boy up and see what we got. So yes, this is from Project Blix. They also sell regular hype sneakers, any price point you can think of, they've got everything dunked. You can check out their website if you guys wanna see it. And thank you to Project Blitz for allowing us to do this because I thought we could come together on this. And if you guys get this video to 50,000 likes, we will do a $100,000 mystery box. I, I don't know if you guys will see it, that's a lot. And thank you to Project Blitz for trusting me with this, but let's go ahead. $100,000 mystery box, 50,000 likes, let's see it. I wonder if we're gonna have anything in here. This is going to be like ultra rare, obviously. And so 50,000, there's 10 sneakers, that's five grand a piece, but we'll see what happens. Or there could be like a $50,000 sneaker. I know that they have that reach. Man, what if they have like the J Balvin sneaker? That would be crazy, okay. Let's see, now what we always do, all right, I see the boxes. I'm gonna open this up and give you guys a little sneak preview. Let's go ahead, can you guys see? I don't wanna show them too much. Can they see some good it's stuff? It's all shoe boxes. It's all shoe, okay, okay. How about this, what about this? How's that, can you see a little bit of something? Yeah, just a little bit of shoe boxes. Okay, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one out right here. Hey, do you even know what this is? Hopefully I know what these are. Okay, I feel, this feels like an Air Force One box from initial, but it could be any Nike box. All right, I'm gonna close this up and put this here. It is an Air Force box, wow, I'm pretty good at that. All right, we have, okay, I'm gonna be, might be keeping some of these. I might have to ask if they're gonna try some of these. Oh, this is, Wow, we're starting off with a banger, but a dead stock pair of the off-white MCA Air Force One. I actually just traded for my own personal pair not too long ago, because I've been wanting them. These are really pretty beat though. This is a dead stock pair. Now used, those are going for about 14, 1500. These are going for, I think like two grand to 2200 new. Size 10 and a half, I like the dead stock pair. Dang, that's when it started. And I'm actually surprised we started out with a sneaker that I have because this is like, this is one of my most expensive right now. I sold my Chicago's, but check that out. Off-white MCA, this blue colorway is my favorite. They have like the MoMA's, they have the white pair, they have so many different, and the blue one is my favorite just cause that pop. I think for summer, it's gonna be a fun shoe to wear. So uh, I'm, I'm a fan of this one. We're gonna clear off some shelves and uh, put some sneakers up. So we'll probably take down this one here. The Travis shelf is gonna have to go. Let's go. How many boxes did it look like there was in there? A ton. A ton, okay. Let's I'm not even gonna try to guess. All right, let's pull out the next one here. Let's see what we have. Oh, let's see. Ooh, this is an OG SB box. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if we can see, I don't wanna see like the name of it, maybe the year. All right, I can't, no, I can't see anything. All right, size 10 and a half, my size. We have a Nike SB Skunk 420. Yes, check these out. 
in honor of 420 being a couple days ago. This is such a cool sneaker just because of the materials. Like, check those materials out. They're insane. You've got the purple bottoms, the green all around. They actually just released, I think it was two uh, uh, yesterday. I think it was on, on 420, a reversed version of this pair right here. Now, obviously, this is an older pair. I think this is from 2010. So, this is a 2010 pair, 10 years old. And this one is, is this dead stock? Um... These shot up. So I owned a pair of these, I don't know, probably a year or two ago. I had my own pair. I think I sold them for like $400. These are like $2,400, $2,300 right now. What? I had no clue these went up so much. So the graph on here is showing they were at like 800, dipped down to like 700, and then they just skyrocketed. The dunk wave is back. I'm kind of annoyed because I sold these for so low, but that's the sneaker game, I guess. Two pairs down, let's keep it moving. That's like four to five grand right there. All right, next pair, let's see. I hope I, let's see. Ooh, we have a Kobe box. Rest in peace, Kobe. I, I know a lot of the sneakers have been going crazy for Kobe after the fact of everything that happened, but it's been a long time since I got a Kobe sneaker in, so I'm excited to see what these are. We have a Kobe Elite, size nine and a half, Ooh, these are wrap. I don't even know if I'm worthy of unboxing these, if I'm being honest. They put a different shoe in here. They finessed me. These are the Georgetown Jordan 4s. So, I just had the Michigan 4s. I'll admit, I was gonna keep them. I sold them. I got I got rid of them, got, got an offer, and they're gone. This colorway, that, oh my, look. I'm kind of speechless. I can't believe they finessed me. A Kobe box, they put a Georgetown 4 in there. These PE sneakers are just so incredibly beautiful. This is a size 10. I gotta do some research. I don't even know what these go for. Guys, this is wilder than the Michigan PE. This is going for $7,000. Huh, <sighs> um. Good thing I washed my hands before this because I do not want to get any grease or anything on these. These are insane. I like these better than Michigan's strictly because of the colorway. I'm not the biggest fan of Michigan. I, I, the blue and yellow together doesn't look as good as this gray and blue and white together in that outsole. Who, uh, who has these? That's insane. All right, guys, so we're going to move to tripod mode now so we can get some nice juicy shots. We're gonna put it on the tripod and then we're gonna get into this. This is Justin. All right, guys, it's time to keep moving. We got all adjusted. Now let's pull out the next box here and see what we have. We have an OG Nike Yeezy box, I suppose. We have a Nike Air Yeezy size 10 and a half. Yes, we have a Yeezy one in the tan colorway. Check that out. now. This is a really cool one because I've had one of the Yeezy ones, but it was in the solar colorway. Now this one I've never had, and I believe this is dead stock. That's insane. Now I'm a bigger fan of the Yeezy 2 over the Yeezy 1 because look how tall this is. This is so much harder to wear, especially if you're a skinny guy like me. That is just so puffy, but I cannot knock the OG-ness of this sneaker right here. The huge puffy tongue, the Nike Yeezy. Crazy, crazy shoe. The one that I have never owned before, so this is sick. And the OG box is pretty nice. It's in good condition, size 10. We need to do some research on these, see how much these are going for. Solid 2,500 bucks on those right there, not bad at all. So this is where we're at so far, as you guys can see. These Georgetowns look so good on the shelf. Like, these look so good. I love how those look. We got the easy ones over here. The box is a little bit big for how tall the shoes are. We got the MCAs, pretty fresh. So far, if I'm saying which one I like the best, realistically, one that I would keep would probably be Ah, the skunks are so much money right now. Out of all of them, it would be a DS pair of MCAs, I think, just because of how much these cost. I probably wouldn't do these, but uh, if I had money was an option, these would be these would be the ones. Now let's cut to the footage of the giveaway because I don't think it's in the actual box. I think they're gonna be sent separate. So we're gonna cut to that footage right now so you guys can see the giveaway and enter before we get too deep into this. All right, guys, it's giveaway time again. We are giving away another pair of Nike off-white dunks, and this is going to be in any size. This is the red pair here. Oh, so far. This is a size 10, but it's gonna be any size, so your guys' size. Now, all you have to do for that giveaway is you have to, one, subscribe to the channel. You have to, two, follow me and follow Project Blitz on Instagram, and number four, or three. Number four is to go ahead, leave a comment on this post that is on the screen, and you have to tag three friends and leave your shoe size as well, and be randomly selecting a winner in two weeks' time. The date will be up on the screen, and it'll be a Sunday in two weeks, a week after the Venmo giveaway, which we'll talk about here at the end. And you can win any size, so go ahead, check that out. Let's get back into it. You guys are not ready for what's coming. Uh, there's some insane stuff over here. Let's go. All right, let's keep moving, guys. 50,000. How did we get here? 
How did we get to 50,000? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Get the next box here. We have another Kobe Elite box. I don't know if I could fall for this one, but we'll just go ahead and see Kobe Elite size 10. This is the same box as the last one. So maybe there's something else eating here. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, we got bubble wrap. Oh, oh my. Oh, I've, I have never even gotten close to a pair of these. That's exactly what I see on the back and oh. Oh, the Tinker Hatfield Oregon Jordan 3. This is such a rare, like I can't even comprehend right now. I swear I did not think this would ever be in my room apart. This, this is a car. This is 10 grand right here. The removable swoosh. I know there's also a white pair of these. I think that was like the more of the GR release for the Jordan 3. Like, oh. You got the two things right there. You got the Oregon O on the back. You got the Tinker Hatfield signature in there. Is that tongue reflective? Keep getting like a reflect. I think it is. Yeah, I think the whole tongue is reflected. I'm gonna, ha I have to show you buttery shots of this overlaid because I, this cannot do it justice. Oh, this has to be the most expensive shoe in the box. This is like 10, this has to be easily 10 grand. Oh my, oh, you got the extra swooshes. Dang, look at this. So it comes with four extra swooshes. Look at the four different swooshes. You got black, gray, you got the yellow. Let's see, let's test this out. Hopefully they don't mind. Pull this swoosh off. Guys, I'm kind of like shaky because I don't want to mess these up. Ooh, that looks good. What is life, guys? If only I, if I bought this box, if, oh my. That's crazy. I'm kind of speechless right now. I can't believe that. This is so crazy. Well, another Kobe box that held some crazy stuff that wasn't a Kobe. But the materials on this is insane. That suede is so buttery, so buttery. If you guys want to cop these, Project Blitz, they probably got whatever you need. How much are we at right now? This is my top shoe. Uh, this is the rarest shoe so far for sure. Those Georgetown just keep getting my eye though. Yep, we're looking at a nice uh, 10K. That's nuts. Like, I'm trying to like pull from different sources like their website and just like StockX and see what they're at. Cause like some, it's, you can even find some of these. Size 12, nine grand. The size that they have is even for sale on StockX. So this was the GR pair right here, the red and the white. My phone keeps going brighter, but you guys get the idea. We got five shoes and that's about 25 grand maybe. Right around 25, we'll put up a counter up on the screen. All right, guys, let's keep moving and see what we got. Keep, I like the mystery and let's keep it moving. See, next shoe up, we have another SB. We have a Nike SB white sport red. Uh, I don't know, $108 retail size 11. I honestly have never seen these before. Oh, that quality. This is like an American flag SB. Look at those colors. It's like a Patriots SB. Got the American flag on the tongue there. I assume it has something to do with, Amer with the United States because of the stripes. That quality quality though on that toe is really nice. It's like a really soft leather. I, I've never seen these before. This is cool though. It's a cool looking one. The materials is kind of like a denim. Got that American denim with your overalls. But uh, I, I need to look these up. And guys, I looked these up just to confirm and make sure that I'm not giving out, like that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, so these are the Born in the USA Dunks and it's from the Bruce Springsteen album cover in the 80s. That's crazy. They're not going for too much money. They're going for around 500 bucks, 600 bucks maybe. But crazy that these were used for some Bruce Springsteen album cover stuff. Oh, that's kind of crazy. The sneaker world, guys. All right, let's put them on the back. Those two shelves behind me are ridiculous right now. Tell me that those two shelves are not ridiculous. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see what we got. I'm, this is so exciting. Just to, like imagine even going to a store and being able to hold and see these and I have them in my house at free rank. Like, ooh, we got a Jordan one. Let's see what we have. Ooh, is that a sample tag? Let's see. No, no I, I'm like, I, I gotta bleed my cousin. There's no well, I just got chills seeing what this is. I've seen this in like two videos. Oh. Tell me you guys don't know what these are. Oh. The amount of people that I've seen have these, it, this is the Justin Timberlake Legends of the Summer Jordan 1. These were literally made for the Justin Timberlake Legends of the Summer Tour. Attention, Jig. I don't know if I wanna, if I'm supposed to be doxing him. If not, I'll blur it, blur it out. We got the sample tag there. Comes with the extra laces. I've, I've seen very, very few people that have had these shoes. I'm legitimately like scared to hold these. Oh, how do they get these? How do you get a legend? I, you have to know people. You have to have been a collector for so long. I have to go, I'm, I have to go to their, their vault and see what they have. Like, I think once this all clears up, I'm going and we're going to go in that vault and see what they have, kind of show it off. But check that out, the, oh. 
I need to pull up some more info on these. If I said there's one Jordan 1 that I would want to see and hold in hand and get would be this right here. Like the odds of me wearing something like this, but like the cheapest pair you can get of these is nine grand. So from 2013, I just don't even know how many of these were made. There could not have been many of these made at all. Like these were made for the tour for Justin Timberlake. What size is he also? Like, cause these are a size 10. Guys, these are so crazy. I These need to be in a glass case. Hey, yo, Project Blake, she's trying to hook up a brother for a good deal on a pair of legs of the summer. I would have to build its own case up on the wall up there. That is the most shook I've been from anything from a box. Oh, he's gotta go back here. I need to get on one of those sneaker battles right now with these shoes that I have, because I'll just take out any YouTuber, but I know that these are not mine, so I, it's all jokes. Let's keep moving, see what's in here. Let's see what we got. Next up, we have an off-white Nike box. Off-white Nike Air Force One low in vault. Look at that, nice solid little sneaker. This is the one Air Force One off-white, so bright, that I've actually kept. You can see it right, right over there. It's the one that I've kept over all these years. Whoa, we're zoomed in. The one I've kept over all these years just because I love it so much. It's a dead stock pair. That's crazy. These shot up in value. These are going for about 900 bucks to dead stock. Solid. I remember I, I got a pair for like 400 bucks at one point. Now they're like, they're way up there. I'm sorry, but this is like, it's hard for me to get excited about this when I have like the Legends of the Summer back there. Hold on, before we go any farther, we have to just embrace this shelf right now. We have to, like we have to. Let's just play some music to honor what we have between these three shelves right now. Trying to, I'm trying to think of like what, how much of this like I'm gonna try to offer and see if they're trying to sell to me for. That's what, that's what my, my biggest interest is to see. And if, if I work something out, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. All right, let's see. Next up, we have a, let's look at a Jordan. Ooh, this is it. Oh, wait. Hold on. There, there's, there's not a way. I, I don't think there's a way. Whoa, my heart rate just rose. So I, I'm not 100% sure. So let me tell you what I see here. I see Air Jordan 11 Retro, white slash white pink eyes. Now, I recently watched a video where I saw somebody with a pair of 11s that were this color that were to an artist like were supposed to be produced, weren't supposed to be like, produced. I wanted to make you guys wait. Yep, I'm sorry. If you know, you know, but I'm putting these aside. We're gonna go and see, see what else is left in this box. We have a Nike SB box and this is, oh, whoa, this is a dead stock pair of the OG Tiffany Dunks. So I have, oh, hold on. This is my personal pair that I've been wearing recently, which I love, my pair of Tiffany Dunks. Just look at the look at the outsole there. Look at the little bit of yellowing. Look at the difference. It doesn't even show on camera how it should. This is white versus yellow. This is crazy. Dead stock pair. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, for me, this worn pair, it's so worn, it's like easy to wear. Because I, I just like, the, it looks kind of like vintage. It looks like an older sneaker. I like that, and so that's why I've been wearing these more. If I had to prefer, because if you're a collector, having them dead stock, of course, is better than having them used. But for me, since I wear them, I think it's, I think I like it better, but we got the blue laces here. This has the OG black laces still on here. My pair is just the uh, Tiffany laces. This box is in really good condition too. Let me compare mine. So here is my box in comparison. And again, on camera, it doesn't do it justice. You have that nice pink there. This is just faded almost to yellow. Oh yeah, that is so faded. It just doesn't show on camera. Dead stock, these are going for about $1,800. That's crazy. I, I toyed with getting rid of my pair. God, the details on this are insane. Check those details out. That's crazy. This is like crispy compared to, oh, my pair is so beat. All right, let's put these on the back shelf. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's see, got some bubble wrap. That actually might be it. Oh, yep, that's it. We cleared it out, we got one left. All right, let's put the total up on the screen right now of the value of everything. This is where we're at right now, and that leaves about this much left for what we have in here. And in all honesty, this could just be like a non-crazy shoe because the values are already there, but I don't think this is a non-crazy shoe. I do not think that I will hold a more rare sneaker in the next at least year. Guys, I'm gonna look in the, oh, I'm gonna look at the camera. Please, let's see. Ooh. Oh my God, they are. Oh, you know how many people have had these? Not many, <laughs> like, yo, these are sick. The Jordan 11, look at the pink bottoms, the snake skin all around. Let me see if I can find the logo for you if you guys don't know what this is. Yo, I need to pull out the other pair. I really do not want to mess with these. Jeez, this is so cool. These materials. So from the outside, it's not that suspecting of what it is. 
but let me go ahead. I'm, I really do not want to mess with these at all. Now, I don't know if there's, I can't find any of the branding to show you guys. This is an OVO Jordan 11 pink snake skin. Now this apparently, from what I know, and I'll look it up in a second, is the shoe that was like produced with Jordan brand before the kind of Adidas thing came around with like the, um, with the whole rat beef that came with uh, Pusha T. If you guys remember the Adidon drama and all, all that, like, oh, hold on, I gotta make sure. So the OVO Jordan 11 PEs. So one store has them for 12,500. Show you guys some of the details here. There'll be overlay shots here, the 45 on the back. They also have a gray pair. The gray pair looks insane. Guys, these are crazy to top off. Like what size are these even? Like they, there's no way many of these are made. Size nine and a half, that is crazy. Just the box alone with that sample tag is so, and it's just so simple. It's just like a printed out label, but like still the fact of like who these are made for, like that is so crazy. Well, we need to, I think it's only right to take everything off of my shelves and put just these shoes on and do a proper little try of it. Tunnel vision when I hit the holly. Working on that cause my mind is on an alley. Told my babies I'll be homeless, so don't stay up. So don't stay up. Breaks my heart to see them sad, so I won't wait up, need it all. All that's mine, I need it now. I lost my patience the same week, I lost my smile. My baby pressed me, said I'm acting like a child. I took some L's, can lie, that really brought me down. I'm so antisocial, but I guess it's type selected. All right, guys, now we have everything set up here. All the shoes are ready to go. We cleared it out. It looks amazing. Now, it is time for me to go ahead, sit down. I want to talk about how I'm going to give back to some of you guys. I mean, we can weigh $500. That's going to be $50 to 10 different people. It's going to be a test run to see how it goes because it'll be hard to pick, you know, who really needs it. Like, if you don't need it, I, I want to make sure that people who actually are in need get the money. I know it's not a lot, but it's something just to help. So we're going to sit down here in a second and explain to you guys how it's going to work. All right, guys, it's time for the cash give back to you guys. Now, I'm gonna be giving away $500 to 10 different people. This is gonna be the first time as a test. I need to make sure that this runs smoothly and everything is fair, and I'll be giving away more in the future to you guys. So the first one, 10 people, $50 each, and it can be done through four different outlets. It's going to be PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, or Zelle. Those are the four for now. I can't mail you guys a check. I can't do anything like that. I have to keep it to that. And the rules for that, there's, I'm not gonna make you subscribe. All I wanna do is try to give back. And if you are blessed right now, you're fortunate you have money, you don't need this money, I would say try to you know leave it for people to comment who actually are in need of that money, maybe for groceries, rent, something like that. I know it's not a lot, but I'll be giving away more in the future. So all you have to do for that is leave a comment on this video right now, and you just have to include a couple things in the comment. You have to include one, the place you want me to send it. So if it's gonna be Cash App, PayPal, anything like that, you'll leave your email or your username and go ahead and include which one you want me to use and then include your Instagram username so I can go ahead and tag you. Now I'm gonna be picking the winner in seven days from today, which is next Sunday. The exact date will be up on the screen. It's gonna be the end of April, maybe the very beginning of May, and I'm gonna pick it and I'm gonna post the picture of the 10 people who won on there. I'll record a quick video, not of me picking every single one, but it's gonna be randomly selected from this video. So just leave a comment in the video and hopefully I can get back and you guys can get some cash and uh, use it to something good. That's gonna wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.